Hi guys, my name is Kristina Mirkovic and my violin online school is www.mirkovic.com and this uh, YouTube session is dedicated to all moms and dads who would like to help out their kids in violin studying on a daily basis via this violin session because if the parents know how to help out the kid in uh, converting the signs from the written score, violin score, into the movements and for each sign, each movement, how to do, what to do for each step of the way, that on a daily basis, repeating, 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 that will increase the children, child self-confidence, that will give enormous boost to the uh, progress, violent progress on a daily basis, enthusiasm, and uh, uh, that is actually the, the basis fundamental for creating the violin, the violin technique and playing. The love is to, for the instrument is not enough. I mean, it is, but uh, uh, it will. It is an, an enormous obstacle if, it, if the child doesn't know and parent also how to resolve this question uh, of memorizing uh, what to do with the hands for each sign of the score. Um, and this is what this violin session is all about. We go further with uh, how to distribute the rhythm on the bow stick and uh, what to do in order to make the rhythm with the bow stick. We already explained how to divide the bow for 4 bit note, 2 bit note, 1 bit note, and to, to play uh, smaller uh, rhythmical note values on the, with the bow. Um, what to do? Well, uh, until now I insisted on the fact to be able from the start to play always with the whole bow to develop that arm movement, uh, a stretched arm movement that will be memorized since from the start in order to use the whole bow. Uh, well, to play uh, rhythmical note values for a shorter than notes than a four than a one quarter note. Well, a one bit note. Well, there uh, we need to use um, for the first time in this violin session a smaller quantity of the bow, uh, and uh, this small tip will be just dedicated. Uh, not to, uh, let's say, another uh, rhythmic note value, no, it will be dedicated to the bow division, which we already done, already uh, dividing the bow in order to play equally for each part or for each beat, uh, the rhythm and the notes in the rhythm. Uh, but now we will dedicate it, uh, we will dedicate this uh, tip just how to divide the bow means. Well, I already explained that um, this uh, scotch tape in the middle between these two scotch tapes we use to stop our bow when we play uh, or uh, even a 4 bit note or a um, 2 bit note. Uh, this scotch tape in the middle is very important for us in this violin tip. Why? Because this scotch tape in the middle between two other scotch tapes is the middle. I mean middle of the bow. Uh, as we can see, this bow stick <laughs> divided with this scotch tape is divided into two halves. Why I uh, insist now on these two halves? Because bow stick uh, technique of the right hand is actually dedicated and divided on two halves and all exercises for the bow for the right arm are exercises for two halves, different halves of the bow. Uh, first I'm going to explain these two halves and then I'm going to explain what is going to happen with the right arm for each of the halves of the bow, how technique is divided for each of these two halves. Well, first uh, these, as I said, middle point or uh, simply M, middle of the bow, um, divides these two halves, which are from the frog to the half, and this would be lower half of the bow, if we observe it vertically, I mean from the frog to the tip, vertically observing, it seems logical that from the frog until the middle, tip, middle scotch tape, in the middle, or the middle of the bow, uh, we have lower half of the bow and from the scotch tape, logically, conclusion, uh, from the mm, scotch tape in the middle until the tip, we have upper half of the bow. So, uh, not a big deal, we have scotch in the middle, which is middle, very important also, point 
uh, um, to concentrate our thoughts and the thoughts of the child. Uh, that movement of the, of the arm in the middle of the bow is something that is, is also to be paid attention of, but now we're just explaining what is the bow division. So we have from the frog until the middle we have uh, lower half of the bow and from the middle until the tip we have upper half of the bow and uh, regarding that uh, I said uh, that all while in you know, a right hand uh, technique exercises are divided uh, to the technique for the lower half of the bow and uh, upper half of the bow. Why? Because the movement of the right arm is completely different for the lower half of the bow and also for the upper half of the bow. I will just give a small um, idea of uh, what is needed to be to pay attention of uh, for the lower half of the bow. So from the, uh, the frog to the middle, we just move slightly our um, uh, elbow. We do not go with the elbow uh, back and forth. We just move it until it uh, doesn't uh, fit in the same line with our body, so not behind our body. So elbow needs to go down until it is not in the same line with the body and until it is not in the middle of the bow, scotch tape in the middle. So uh, forearm and upper arm are, do have most of times, let's say, um, a 90 degrees angle. So movement of arm would be for the lower uh, part of the bow, generally speaking, slow movement, slightly moving the elbow until it is not in the same line with the body. And uh, in the middle uh, we have 90 degrees angle and the wrist is completely straight, not this or this. And uh, movement of the arm for the upper half of the bow, so we start from the, this 90 degrees angle, straight uh, wrist and um, upper arm more or less in the line with the body. We, we do not move any more absolutely elbow, we just open upper uh, forearm until it, it doesn't start to give us a little bit of the pain here in the elbow point and we go back to the 90 degrees angle, open, we feel a little pain stretching and close. So as you can see for the lower half of the bow uh, we have movement, well, slightly a movement of the elbow until it doesn't fit in the same line with the body. Straight wrist and 90 degrees angle at the middle of the bow. From that, do not move any more elbow, just open the forearm until it doesn't uh, get to the point and in, at that point we will feel a little pain in the elbow point and going up until we do not uh, arrive to the middle where we again have 90 degrees angle uh, in the forearm and the upper arm and straight wrist. Uh, in order to go better, understand better playing uh, with the both uh, upper half and lower half of the bow, please do this to the original music backing tracks, uh, all simul simultaneously explained with the uh, video lessons. Please do visit my violin school online, methodomirkovic.com or just subscribe my uh, violin YouTube channel, methodomirkovic, or please do not hesitate to ask me anything that in your opinion could increase um, violin learning daily routine and self-awareness of your kid. Thank you and see you. Thank <laughs> you.